Hey Moose Eats Bear. Today I'm going to be going over how to remove loads for your Lost Kingdom speedrun. Uh, this is a practice that we started doing back in 2018 um, when we realized that different consoles needed different amounts of time to load. Like let's say you're playing on your Wii or your GameCube, sometimes it'll be 13 seconds to load on average, sometimes it'll be 8 seconds to load on average. We thought that wasn't fair, so now we have to go through the fairly tedious process, admittedly, of removing loads by hand. Over here, I've got a, uh, a dog lock run. It's a meme category for Lost Kingdoms 2. And I'll be removing the loads on this, and you guys get to watch the unedited process so you learn how to remove the loads on your own. I'll be doing this on YouTube, because, well, I, that's where I've always done my load removals. But um, it's got a good frame-by-frame -frame feature. You can sort of hit period and comma to advance or go back. So that's always pretty useful. Um, I'm going to have a link in the description of the video to the spreadsheet that I'm using on the right half of the screen. And I'll also have a link to a document by Papaya Jordan, which has all of the different moments that you have to end the timer for all the categories. Dog lock's a good run uh, to show this off. So uh, I'll show you that when we get to it. Um, okay, let's get started. The, the spreadsheet is pretty messy. Uh, it, it's kind of complicated to look at it first, but before we do anything, you, you guys won't be able to edit this, so you'll have to go to file and make a copy. Uh, we're just going to call this, I don't know, um, suppose dog log world record. You make a copy and we'll open it in the tab. Um, all right. So this whole section sort of has the guidelines on how you're supposed to use this spreadsheet in particular. Because of the way uh, Excel and Sheets remove times, you always have to include the hour and the minute and the second. Because if you're speedrun, to make this work for everyone, we needed to include speedruns that would last more than one hour. So this is sort of the format we had to go with. Um, don't touch anything that is in the red or the yellow cells. These sort of just have the formulas in them. If you know Sheets or Excel, you can understand this pretty easily. It's not very complicated, but just don't mess with it. It'll make the spreadsheet not work anymore. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go over here, and the first thing I'd like to do is put the RTA minutes. RTA minutes is where you're going to put wherever the heck the time was that your run ended. So for dog lock, this category, uh, the dog lock ends on the final frame of the dog's movement. Um, purpose of this category is to get stuck in the corner. Get, get the dog. You can't push the dog in Lost Kingdoms too, so you want to get locked in the. It's a really dumb category. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Um, so we're gonna take a look, and as soon as Tara gets stuck, I think it's just shortly after this. Um, we're going to have to go in frame by frame and pause the timer. Okay, Tar is firmly stuck. So for dog lock, dog lock ends when the dog stops moving. Which looks like it is this frame right here. Oh, and again, I don't know if I mentioned this. We're using comma and period to advance frame by frame. Um, so it looks like the total end time on the timer is, and this is where it gets tedious, zero, zero, or you can just put one zero. That's hours, zero, four, 36.80. There you go. That is your total runtime. And now we're going to get started with the actual load removing part of this category. Let's go all the way to the beginning. Let's just watch from the start. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. Um, okay, so the timer started. And it started really, really early. In Lost Kingdoms 2, we don't start the timer until after this text crawl is off screen. And you get sort of the first visual of Tara uh, in, in the nobleman's mansion. So we'll let this play just for a second. Okay. And we've passed that point. So we're going to go all the way up to the frame right before. Okay. So it looks like the run starts right here on 149. So the start time of this early 0, 0, 0, 0, and then we can do 0, 0, 1, no, 0, 0. 
zero one point four nine. And that is the amount of time. No, I'm messing this up. Four four. And that is the amount of time that occurred before you began playing the game. You gained control of the character at one point four nine. And so there you go. Already lost already had one point four four removed from your total time, your actual time. Look at that. You saved a second already. I'm proud of you. We're going to skip over to right here. So right after you clear cards at any level, anytime that you leave a level by aborting or by clearing cards, uh, really through any method or death, um, we choose the first frame of full screen darkness to begin this sort of uh, uh, level leaving load time. Uh, we, I used to call it the fade, but we've renamed it recently. So we will see. And here's where it gets a little difficult. You gotta bring up your brightness on your monitor and really lean in close. And it looks like, so you can kind of see the lights right there. You got a little more artifacting, a little more artifacting here. And now that it's all gone, except for those blue stripes, which they look like they're there the whole time, we're going to take this frame right here. And this is an out because we're loading out of the level. And we're going to name this Nobleman. This is just to make it easier on the mods when they verify your run. There we go. And we are leaving at 0, 0, 37.37. We'll hit tab. And then the final frame of this fade of the out. Okay, so we're on the map, and now we have to go back using comma on YouTube. And here is the final frame of this full screen darkness. The way I like to think about it is how would you, if you were editing this video to remove any evidence of load times, you this is these are the times that you would take out of an edited video. So we're going to let play a little bit more and we load into the level. And again, we're just waiting for the first frame of the screen going fully black, which is right here. Nope, the next one. So we've got artifacting on the screen right there. Pretty sure you guys can see it. We move one frame more. There we go. This is an in. Shia High Road. Or you can just type, yeah, you type BHR. We'll know what it means. Zero zero forty two seventy nine. We'll alt tab back real quick. Probably shouldn't be alt tabbing all that much. It's old muscle memory. Since I did this run, I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. We can just kind of seek over here. And there's where the card works happen. And we will... There we go. So after a while, you really get to get a good feel of the process here. The hardest part, honestly, is just typing in everything that you have to do. Oh, you know what? I gotta save. Uh, I'm saving in order to get the really good dog RNG in this. Uh, so don't worry, we're doing some RNG manipulation pro strategies right here. Um, so we also remove the times where you access the memory card, you load from the memory card, and you save to the memory card. So we'll be doing this real quick. So this was a little bit of a complicated one. What we do for this one is as soon as this box reaches its full size, you start taking the time from there. So we'll do this as 
read, and that is 201.94. And then as soon as the purple bar goes away, the box begins to shrink, and then that's our second time. Okay, now we're saving here. You gotta save on the seventh slot. It's, listen, it's for that really good RNG. Yep, we got the frame right before it's full size, the frame that it is full size, and we'll take that one. And pause preemptively to 11. Okay, and then we're going to have a load time shortly after this. Because you gotta quit out. You gotta reset the console. So, oh, well you know what, you can't have a load without a read. So we're gonna read the memory card again. There it is. I like to go back and forth on the frames uh, whenever I'm not entirely certain. You can't tell through like the initial look. Um, it's always difficult to really tell where the exact frame of the load begins. So always feel free to sort of dip back and forth of like, oh, is, is it this one? Or am I sure that's the one? Like what I just did. And then we've got a load. Yes. Oh, always faster than I expect it to be. And I'm actually going to go double check something. I'm not sure. I did these other two right. So let me double check. What did I say? 94 for this one. That's right. And then I did 521. Yep. That's right too. Oh yeah, sometimes it gets a little tricky. The timer doesn't sync up quite perfect with the... Uh, whenever the timer doesn't sync up perfectly like this, you're always going to take whatever time is displayed when the load ended. So right here, it was 21. And now let's just go ahead and skip back to where we were at. And I'll just skip forward a few seconds. There's our next frame, and this is into Kadishu. That's an end. Took me a second to remember what I was calling it. 4151. It's a long one. And we're just about done. There's the final frame of darkness before this load ends. 2, 53, 43. And your load removal is finished. If you'd like to watch the rest of the run through all the way to the end, just to make sure there aren't any more loads. Now, cutscenes like this, they don't count. You just flash into the cutscene and flash out. We're only counting. Uh, the things that you've seen in this video are the only things that count toward load removals. And we're going to take this far out just. YouTube.com And I believe that's it. As soon as we get locked in the corner, I was having a real rough time trying to get myself in the corner on this one. I'm just going to double check ourselves and make sure I put the right time in here for this 436. 80. And I did. The dog stopped moving. 
Okay, uh, so this would be it. So when you go to submit your time to speedrun.com, uh, you will submit uh, this time. This time, <laughs> this is your. Oh my gosh! You'll submit. This is your RTA, and this is your without loads time. So right here, as you can tell, uh, there's quite the number of cells on this. But we had total loads of 33 seconds in this four-minute run. It gets a little ridiculous sometimes. So you saved 33 seconds and went down from a 436 to a 403. And uh, that should be everything. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. Good luck, everyone.